Hi there, my name is Dan Elder. Welcome to this video about building a swim lane schedule inside Milestones Professional. So in Milestones, there's two methods to get swim lanes to show tasks and milestones. The first method is to use multiple rows and just make them look like a single large swim lane. Uh, that'll be the first method I show you. And the second method is to actually make your row much larger and then just add symbols and bars to that same row. Okay, for this first method, I'm going to select multiple rows. So I'm going to click on the first row, hold shift on my keyboard, and then click on the last row that I want to select. And then once you've got these rows selected, I'm going to go to more task row options in the selection tab and choose grid line slash shade. And this is going to change the background color and also the grid lines for all the rows I've got selected. So right now I've got grid lines and shading turned on for all three sections. So uh, first of all, I'm going to check this checkbox down here, apply new selections to all three sections. Um, so any change I make is going to apply all the way across the schedule. Um, that way I don't have to do these individually. So for grid lines, I'm actually going to turn them off. That way there's no lines between the rows, so it ends up looking like a single large swim lane. And for shading, I'm going to change the background color here to white. Press OK. And you can see it applied to all three sections there. Press OK. And now you can see we've got one large swim lane here. And if I want to select this row, I can put a grid line on the bottom of this row. I go to more task row options and again grid line slash shade I'm going to check show grid lines and I'm actually going to make this a little bit darker and for shading I'm going to make sure that it's still set okay that looks good and I'm going to press okay so now this kind of made one large swim lane that I can use now. Now this version of swim lane still is separated into rows and if you want to see those rows you can go to the view tab and turn on line guides. This will actually show some light blue lines between each row just to let you know kind of where the rows are and how they're separated so you can add tasks to them. Um, these line guides don't print out or anything, they're just for building the schedule. The second method of having a swim lane in Milestones is just to expand a single row to be much larger, that way you can add some more tasks to it. So using the arrow tool on the toolbox, we can just kind of select between these rows inside a cell and just kind of expand this row. and. Now you can see this row is much larger. I'm also going to add a grid line to the bottom of this row in more task or options, grid line slash shade. And I'm going to do that same option I did before and make sure the shading is set. So I'm going to set this background as well just to kind of match the other swim lane. So now if I turn the line guides off in the view tab, you can see those swim lanes look pretty much identical. Uh, one of them is a single row and one of them is multiple rows. So there are some slight differences in how to add tasks to these swim lanes. I'm going to use the small plus tool on the toolbox to add some tasks to this top swim lane. So I can just kind of add the tasks on these multiple rows. So you can see they're all kind of evenly spaced based on um, the actual rows that are there. So if I use that arrow tool, I can kind of select those rows. Uh, this is where line guides comes in handy so you can kind of see which row you're actually adding those tasks to. Um, if I add the tasks, again, using the small plus tool, to this swim lane right here. They're all going to kind of default to 
the center of the row. Since, if you remember, this swim lane is just one giant row. So what you need to do is use your arrow tool, select the start symbol of these tasks in this large swim lane, and you hold shift and you press up or down on your keyboard. And what this does is it changes these tasks vertical level. So each row in milestones has up to 11 vertical levels that you can use. And just depending on how many tasks you need to show in each row um, and how large your rows are and everything, um, you might need to slightly change the size of your rows or change your vertical spacing. Um, if you'd like to change your vertical spacing, that's in the Tools tab. And we've got these options over here, and you click on Edit. And you can see this vertical spacing percent is set right here. The default is kind of one symbol size, so you can see this task went a whole symbol size above this task. If I change this, for instance, increase it to 140% and press OK. Then you can see these tasks are now uh, more spaced out. And that's pretty much it for setting up your swim lanes in Milestones Professional. I'm going to do some additional formatting options here um, just to show you guys. So if you want to add a label here, I can just kind of put it in the center here and say swim lane A, for instance. Uh, if I want to label this one, um, I've just got the one cell here. Call that swim lane B. Um, you can also have text on your symbols. If you are unfamiliar with that, I can select the start symbol here. And I can call this one task one, for instance. Kind of adds it to that center of the bar there. Uh, select this symbol, task 2 for instance. If I wanted these bars to not have triangles on the end, I could just change these triangles to be an invisible symbol. So in the toolbox, I can double click on this blue triangle and change the shape to number 28. That's an invisible symbol and press OK. And you can see that triangle disappeared from the start. And I'll do the same thing with that finish symbol. Double click on that finish symbol. Change that one to 28. And there you go. You can also add just milestones to your swim lane. Use the large plus tool and select just a single symbol. Then you can click on your swim lane, kind of add it to your swim lane. You can also add it to your single row swim lane down here. And then you can just, again, hold shift and press up or down on your keyboard to move those symbols around. And here's some more examples of some other swim lane schedules you could create in Milestones Professional using those skills we just learned. Here's kind of a birds on the wire type swim lane. And here's another swim lane with some bars and some symbols. And that's pretty much it for swim lanes. I hope you learned something today. Be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com and have a nice day.